You don't know how, I tell you how. Welcome to How To. In this video, How To Pack A Backpack, part one, I will tell you what you need on your packing list. I just came back from nine months of traveling with my girlfriend all around Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia. And I still got my stuff ready to go. So we will go through this packing list in six steps. Clothes, essentials, gadgets, useful stuff. Yeah, very creative, I know. Medication documents. If I'm talking too fast, you can find the whole list in the description. So let's start with clothes. I brought t-shirts. One, two, number three. One nice shirt for nights out. I brought three tank tops. One, two, three. Of course, you're going to buy so many shirts, so many tank tops. So yeah, I took three of each, but depends where you're going first. If you go to Asia, where everything is really cheap. If this is your first stop, just take one shirt, one tank top. You need one hoodie for cold evenings. If you do long bus rides, sometimes you have 16 degrees because of the air conditioning in a bus, so it could be freezing. Of course, one rain jacket. You go to New Zealand, Australia, it can piss. You go to Southeast Asia, it can piss even more. If you do a jungle trek and it starts raining, without having a rain jacket, have fun. Just in case, we also brought a poncho. I brought one pair of long pants and one shorts. Swimwear, one pair of sweatpants, Alibaba pants, whatever you like. At least something which is really comfortable for bus rides, time on the plane, long boat rides, hanging out, whatever. The belt will be handy as well, as you maybe lose weight during your travel, like I did. One pair of sneakers, that's how they look like after nine months of traveling. And of course, hiking shoes. Some people hike with flip-flops, I don't get it. Of course, one pair of flip-flops, but not for hiking. Those are so important when you go to Kakadu National Park in Australia. Hiking to New Zealand, Tongariro Crossing, Sumatra, Orangutan Treks. Jungle treks in Malaysia, jungle treks in Cambodia. So get some hiking boots, you will need them. I was so happy. I brought five pairs of socks, long and short, but the most important hiking socks. They are quite expensive, but they are worth it. You can hike so much longer with those, your feet won't hurt. Yeah, of course they will hurt a little bit. And they won't smell, I promise. Seven boxer shorts are enough, you can bring less, but wash more. Let's talk about essentials. You will need one sleeping bag. You're probably going to do some tours in Australia and Southeast Asia, wherever. There will be a possibility that you hire a sleeping bag for one night or two nights, but you have to pay for it. If you go to New Zealand and you want to camp, you need this. If you want to do jungle trekking, you need this. If you're going to sleep in some really dirty, dirty, dirty hostel and you already booked it and the mattress is dirty and the pillow is dirty, the blanket is dirty, everything is dirty, then at least you have your sleeping bag. Two travel towels, they're really thin and they dry fast. So one for the shower and one for the beach. You need earplugs for sleeper buses, trains or if you're in dorms with maybe 30 people in one room. Toiletry bag. I don't need to explain you what goes in here. This really depends on what you like to take with you when you travel. Some men probably only take one toothbrush. Some of the most important thing is probably this. The headlight. Some people think it's not necessary. I think it's really necessary. You go to the jungle, you do jungle trekking, you go to the national parks in Australia, wherever you go, there will be places where you don't have electricity. So you need to go for a poo or for a pee. This comes in handy, especially when you need to carry the toilet paper in one hand. And if you pull down your shorts with the other hand, this is really good. A pillow you can inflate for train rides, bus rides. We didn't have a mosquito net. At most places where you thought we need a mosquito net, they had mosquito nets installed. Toilet paper, something you're probably going to buy when you're in Asia, but when you travel around, you definitely need this because at some toilets, they won't have it. A money bag or wallet you can wear under your shirt. Really, really important when you go through markets, if you want to shop, uh, if you don't feel secure, um, whatever. You have this under your shirt, all your money is in here. I put my credit card in here. A dry bag. You can buy it when you're in Asia. You put stuff in here, you roll it, and it's waterproof. It's really important because we went to islands where you drop, where they drop you in the middle of the ocean. You have to leave the boat, walk through the water. You have all your camera, your hard drive, everything with you, so better put it in here. Of course, a small backpack you can wear in the front, 
all your valuables go in here and add all my clothes and everything in the back. Rain protection is really important also for your small backpack. Not only because it could possibly rain, also if you do a long bus ride they don't treat your backpack that well. They throw it and they squeeze it, uh, sometimes it's wet. Whenever I got the backpack back I was so happy that I had this protection on my backpack because it was so dirty. And at least it's also a protection because people have to open it before they steal something. You need sunscreen, detergent for washing your clothes. Let's talk about gadgets. Of course I brought one camera and one GoPro for the action shots, underwater shots, whatever. You need many SD cards. I have them in a box like this. It could happen that you cannot save your pictures, so it's better to have one extra SD card. Also bring a USB stick for saving some data. We brought a hard drive for all our pictures. A chainsaw, just joking. A music player for long bus rides. A power station, so you can charge all your gadgets on the way. Sometimes you have a bus ride from A to B or you drive around New Zealand and you forgot to charge your camera, you can do it with this. All your chargers, everything, I just put it in a bag like this. So I had several of those bags. They're really good because I had one bag with all my camera stuff, one bag with all my hard drive stuff. You need an adapter to plug in your phone, your camera, whatever, but there are also many countries where you don't need it. Maybe you find one you can use in several countries. You can also buy it in Southeast Asia if you're around there. We also brought a multiple plug. Sometimes you want to charge several gadgets at the same time, your camera, your phone, but then you only have one adapter so it won't work. We didn't bring a laptop, we didn't bring a netbook, but I think this is really important because when you want to do something on the computer, when you want to save your pictures and you have to use those computers in the hostel, uh, sometimes it drives you nuts, seriously. One of the only moments where I really, really, really got angry. So I would buy a cheap laptop and take it with me or just bring your old one. Of course, a phone is really important if you need to make a call, if you need to uh, call the hostel, sometimes you need to reconfirm something, if you have to call your mom. So useful stuff. You will need a padlock, tape, also important if you want to protect yourself from spiders, mosquitoes, whatever. If you have a hole in your tent, a hole in your bungalow, you can fix it with this. A lighter, mosquito coils to protect yourself from mosquitoes. A diary, a clothesline if you have to dry your clothes somewhere at your campsite. A sewing kit. We had to use it several times if your clothes break or if you have a hole in your mosquito net, you can fix it with this. A pocket knife is really important if you want to cut some fruits or if you want to open a can. Medication. Insect repellent. First aid kit. We bought a bag to store all our pills because it could happen that everything opens up and then you find all your pills all around your backpack. This is not funny. Once on Sumatra, monkeys came into our bungalow and they opened up everything. So if you don't want to lose your medication, better store it in a bag like this. So what do you need? You need painkillers, pills against diarrhea, pills against nausea, pills against stomach ache. Electrolytes are really important if you're running to the toilet all the time, this gives you some energy back. You will need a thermometer, most difficult word ever. Because if you have high temperature, if you have fever and you want to check if you maybe have, let's say malaria or something, you need it and you don't want to borrow it from someone. We also had a spray for disinfection, which is really really useful when you hurt yourself, when you're bleeding, just spray it on your wound and it will heal better. Also when you have really really long bus rides and you use a toilet and it could happen that you want to wash your hands and there's no water running and then you can use this disinfection to clean your hands at least before eating. We also had this roll-on from Fresh Care. You can find it in Asia but there are probably different brands as well. It works a little bit like Tiger Balm. You attach it to your skin and it gets really warm. This is really nice when you have mosquito bites. Just put it on your skin it won't be that itchy anymore. Also when you get motion sick, just put it on your face and it will calm you down. Step number six, let's talk about documents. We had this bag or pouch for documents which is really really handy. You have everything you need in here, you can organize it. Yeah, what do you need? Of course you need your passport, flight ticket, your credit cards. It's really important you bring a proof of insurance. Your visa documents for countries where you need it, really depends where you're from, but Australia you could need it, Vietnam you could need it. Of course your driver's license, maybe an international driver's license, not everywhere they're going to ask you if you have it, but we needed one for New Zealand. 
In Asia, most of the time, they don't care if you have one at all. Some extra passport photos, if you lose your passport, you have it ready. Also, in some countries where you have visa on arrival, you also have to give them one passport photo, for example, in Cambodia. And finally, the vaccination certificate. We also took a picture of all of these documents and we uploaded them, so in case we lose it, we still have them in our cloud. Thank you very much for watching this how-to video. Of course, maybe I forgot something, maybe you have some different ideas, please post a comment, you will help your fellow travelers. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up so I know that I could help you and I know how to shoot the other videos. If you click on those videos, you can see how to pack a backpack part 2 and how to travel through Vietnam. Thank you very much for watching this video and enjoy packing your backpack, enjoy traveling the world.